Welcome to Designer Digital's Quick Tips for Digital Scrapbooking. In this tip, we'll show shortcuts for recoloring PNG images in Photoshop and Elements. I love it when I learn a new to me shortcut hidden away inside Photoshop and Elements that I can pass along to you. This week I found a super easy shortcut for recoloring solid images like brushes and stamps, overlays, and some word art. When the image is just one color, like black on a transparent background, you can use this shortcut. Here's how. In Photoshop or Elements, begin by opening an image that you want to recolor. You can also open an image that contains the colors that you want to use for recoloring if you'd like. First, choose new colors for the background and the foreground. Choose the new color by clicking the foreground color chip at the bottom of the tools panel. It's set to black by default. This brings up the little color picker window. You can drag here to select a new color and then click here to get it. Or you can just drag the cursor outside of that window and suck up a color from the digital image that you opened. And if you know the color values, you can type them in down here. But when you're satisfied, click OK. Now the foreground color will change to the color that you've clicked. Repeat the process by selecting the background color chip this time. When the color picker window comes up, you can either select a new color or come over to your document and get a new color from the document or type in the color values and click OK. When you have two new colors, you're ready to go. Click to select the layer of the image that you're recoloring. In previous tips, we've shown you how to fill the whole layer with the background color by pressing Control Backspace on a Mac system that's Command Delete, or how to fill the whole layer with the foreground color by pressing Alt Backspace on a Mac system that's Option Delete. But that fills the whole layer and covers up the image. Here's the cool thing. Just using the shift key with those shortcuts fills only the opaque pixels and it leaves the transparent pixels unchanged. So shift control backspace on a Mac system that's shift command delete recolors the image using the new background color. And shift alt backspace on a Mac system that shift option delete recolors the image with the new foreground color. It's a ridiculously quick and easy way to recolor brushes and stamps and overlays and word art and even embellishments like watercolor or ink splashes. By just pressing shift control backspace or shift command delete, you can recolor the watercolor just like that. This is another shortcut that I'm committing to memory because I can tell I'm going to use it a lot. Thanks so much for watching, and if you like this video, please like and subscribe and click the bell below for notifications.